pleasure to meet you. My name is Ryan Gray. I work with Dr. Robbins. Do you have time to chat? Nice to meet you. Have I seen this guy before? I swear I've met him somewhere. It must be my imagination. Do you truly doubt your memories? Huh? What? I know what was going through your mind just now. I feel like I've met him before, but it's just my imagination. Isn't that right? How could you know that? I'm a behavioral psychologist, you see. Plus, your facial expressions are quite easy to read. Are you saying that I have a bad poker face? You're the same as ever. Always up front with your emotions. Wait, so you do know me? What's your guess? I was here with my mom 13 years ago. So maybe I saw you then. Nice deduction. Myelination in our hippocampus is a slow process, said to only finish when we're around four years old. That's why most people can't remember their early years. Okay. But as soon as I got here, I remembered. Mom and I... You remembered something from all those years ago? Yeah. I'm not even sure I'd heard of Lake Juliet before. But once I was here and saw the place, I remembered the scenery and being here with Mom. But if you asked me if I was sure those memories were real, I wouldn't be able to say yes. As I said, it's tough to recall events from that early in life. Yet, sometimes, an event can bring them to the surface. Some call these sudden memories flashbacks. They often occur after psychological trauma. Do you remember ever having such an experience? Yeah, I do. My mom died on the night of my third birthday. That was 13 years ago. Ah, yes. That's right. Sayoko Robbins. She was only 28 years old. You know what happened to my mom? Of course. As a memory researcher myself, the sudden death of Sayoko Robbins was an unforgettable tragedy. To meet her daughter after all these years is truly remarkable. You and I have a lot in common. Speaking with you like this brings back memories of Sayoko. Particularly your eyes. It's like your mother is looking out at me. She was a genius. She began her research at just 16 years old. That was around the time when I first met her. She was a scientist by the time she was my age? That's incredible. Your mother was an outstanding scientist. I could never forget her. You said you and I are alike. How is that? I lost my mother when I was three, too. Really? Yes. Do you wish you could remember her? That's never been a desire. What? Does one need memories of their mother for a happy life? Well, my memories of my mom are precious to me. And without her, I wouldn't be who I am. I want to know everything about my mom. I want to remember her. I strongly empathize with how important Sayoko was to you. Yes, we really are a lot alike. How else are we alike? We should discuss that some other time. So, what's this about Sayoko? You said Mom was unforgettable. Can you tell me more about her? I remember Sayoko like I saw her yesterday. 
but my memories of her. I guess I'd like to keep those for myself. What? Why? I've never met a smarter person. She was a brilliant scientist. It's because of her that I am who I am today. So maybe it's selfishness that makes me want to keep them for myself. And it's probably a very strange thing to say to her daughter. No, I, I get it. I guess. I'm no good at explaining why I like certain guitarists and stuff. So I get it. So, Sayoko was a scientist at 16 years old? Is it really true that my mom was doing scientific research at 16? Yes, it is. Ugh. What's the matter? I'm just so... average compared to her. Are you interested in the sciences as well? No, not really. I don't want to be like my dad. I see. Well then, what do you want to be? I play guitar in a band. We're gonna be huge. A band? Interesting. Yeah. I want to be on stage. I want to move people with my music. I want to make them feel something. I think everyone has a grand design like that at one point or another. I suppose that's what they refer to as a dream. It's interesting to see how you think about the future. Your eyes may be your mother's. But on the inside, you're just like your father. That might be the worst thing anyone's ever said to me. Thanks for telling me about my mom. I'm glad I got the chance to speak with you. Same here. By the way, what is that? Oh, this? It's my mom's pendant. I see. It's very beautiful. Ashley! Dan! I wonder what he wants. Maybe he found a lead about my bag. Um, Ryan, I... It's all right. Go ahead. What's up, Dan? What's up, Dan? Sorry to interrupt your camping fun. But I wanted to ask. Here, take a look at this photo. Is this who stole your bag? Yeah, that's him. So my hunch was right. There's the missing person's report on him. Wow, really? Let me know if you see him again, okay? Yeah, all right. Were you able to meet up with your dad? Yeah. Glad to hear it. Having fun camping with him? Well, something urgent came up at his lab and he had to go. Lab? Hang on, is your dad involved with JC Valley? Yeah. Oh, of course. You told me your last name is Robbins. So your dad must be Dr. Robbins. So that kid has a missing persons report? Hang on. That kid was reported missing? Yeah, he ran away from home. Been missing for three days. This isn't the first time he's done it either. Last time was this past August. They found him near here. Oh, wow. He's run away more than once. Well... The kid's got his reasons. And he always comes to Lake Juliet. What reasons? His name's Matthew Crusoe. He's 13. Let me know if you see him. Sure. You bet. So, about Dr. Robbins. 
Why did you say my dad must be Dr. Robbins? Do you know him? It was, oh, maybe two months back. He was fishing, and I taught him how to properly bait his hook. I cannot imagine dad fishing. Well, something tells me he hasn't been at it for too long. You don't say. Still, your dad's really funny. Funny? My dad? He's like a kid. His eyes sparkle when he tries something new. He gets absorbed in it, like it's the only thing in the world. He's been especially interested in Lake Juliet lately. Every time I run into him, he has more questions about it. Well, back to patrolling for me. Okay. We'll find your bag. Wait for your dad to get back, and have fun. Thanks, Dan. Sorry, Ryan. That's the forest ranger who's... Ryan? Where'd he... Huh. Uh-oh. Huh? What's up, Ian? Dr. Robbins forgot his hat. So he did. Oh, looks like they're cleaning up. Ashley, you got a second? What's up? Your dad forgot his hat. Would you mind taking it to his cottage? This is dad's? I do not get his taste in fashion. At all. He bought it online just for this camping trip. We'll take care of the cleanup here, so will you take this to him? You bet. Which way is Dad's cottage? It's just past the covered bridge. Got it. Um... What covered bridge? Be specific, Ian. She doesn't know her way around here. Right. Right. Turn right onto the road that leads to the lake shore. You won't be able to miss the bridge. The cottages are just past it. His is the one closest to the bridge. Got it? Um, yep. Probably. Oh, and along the way you'll pass an old boathouse. Stay away from it, all right? Why? There's a shady guy in sunglasses hanging out around there. So take the long way around if you need to. And keep an eye out for him. All right, got it. Thanks for taking care of the hat. I'll help. Where were you when you realized it was missing? I don't even remember. Don't worry. We'll find it. But... What you guys looking for? What's up? Tommy? What's wrong? Oh, it's you. Elizabeth, right? I'm Ashley. I saw you earlier, but I couldn't really say hi. Hmm. And ignored. I heard you're looking for something? What is it? Elizabeth lost her music player. We're out here looking for it. There's a demo on that player that we can't lose. Is Elizabeth in your band? Oh, we're in... Tommy, why does this kid know about the band? I heard about it at the guest house. I asked Tommy. Ugh. I 
told her I'm in a band and I write songs. Are you serious? I'm thirsty. I need a drink. We gotta find the music player first. I'll look after I get a drink. Have you even started looking? Come on, I'll help. Why? We're never gonna find it. Ugh. I've had enough of this. You can't just give up. It's somewhere out here. Plus, it's important, isn't it? It's your band's demo. Excuse me? Who do you think you are, telling me what I should do? What? No, I I'm sorry if... I don't want to hear it. Elizabeth, she's just trying to help. Oh, so you're taking her side? What a jerk. What? No, no that's not it. You're freaking out over nothing. Come on, stop fighting. Who are you anyway? Why are you even here? Ashley's dad is Dr. Robbins. He works at JC Valley. Well, my dad's the director of JC Valley. Which means my dad is your dad's boss. What's that have to do with us? I just thought it was something you should know. I don't see why I should care. So you're going to be like that, huh? How old are you anyway? Ooh, I got a choice. Yeah, I should just be honest, honestly. I don't know. I really want to make her mad. Ah, uh, lying doesn't really get you anywhere. Just go with 16. I'm 16. There's no way you're the same age as me. What? Why? I figured you were like 14. Yeah, <laughs> I don't believe you. I have trouble believing we're the same age, too. Could you just leave already? You're so annoying. I'll leave, but why do you have to be like this? Like what? Seriously? Enough already. <laughs> Ugh. I'm sorry, Ashley. You're busy, right? I've got this covered. You can take off. Tommy. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I got it. See you later, I guess. See you later. Look, I know you're frustrated, but that was not cool. Sorry. Let's just look for it later. Now I need the cool down. Let's go to Bob's. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. Ugh. Ugh, I'm mad just thinking about what happened. I need some water or something. I'm so mad I made myself thirsty. How about this? I'll go find something to drink at Dad's cabin. But first, let me go back and speak my mind. So, mm -hmm. this isn't the way to the cottage. Yeah, I know that. What I wanted to say was, uh, why do you have to be like a fucking bitch who is mm -hmm. a fucking prima donna over losing a music player and complaining all the damn time because you're a fucking rich kid, right? Because you're a damn preppy? Is that it? Is that why? Because you were a fucking preppy? Because you got handed everything to you with a golden spoon? Is that why? Is that why you think you're you're better than everybody? Is that it? You know, if you're not careful, uh, maybe I'll find some scissors and, uh, you know, cut off that nice looking little ponytail you got there. Hang that on my mantle. Ever think of that? No, because you don't think. Asshole. Anyway, let's move on. Sorry, had to get that out of my system. People like that anger me. Whoa! It's beautiful! 
So this is like Juliet, huh? <sighs> Mom. Mommy! I remember. Mom brought me here. Someone's there. Understood. We'll talk again soon. <gasps> oh no, he's a real estate broker! What's up with that guy? Is that who Gina told me about? A suspicious man in sunglasses hanging around the boathouse. What's he up to? He's a crypto bro. He's trying to get me in on his pyramid scheme. Oops. I can roll out this direction. Near there. Pretty sure I saw that kid head in this direction. Could he have gone in the shed? Stone, flat, camp stove, flashlight. Guess this is a supply shelf? Doesn't seem like anyone's using this stuff right now. Alright, kid, I know you're in here. Where could that kid have gone? Is that someone's voice? Coming from inside the well? Help! Somebody help me! 
That's that kid. Get me out of here! What are you doing down there? Trying to hide, but I got stuck. Ugh. Okay, fine. I'll go get someone. Just hang on. Wait, no! Don't! I can't get you out of there by myself. I'll get the forest ranger. And once you're out, he'll arrest you for stealing my bag. Oh, please, not Dan. Are you really gonna be picky about who rescues you? I'll give you your bag back, please. But if you call Dan, I won't tell you where I hid it. What's with this little jerk? Help me, and you'll get your bag back. I promise. Fine. The well's so deep. How can I get him out? No way I can reach all the way down there. Come on, hurry up and get me out of here. Can you climb up the wall? There's nothing to grab onto. Got it. Just a minute. Do I have anything on my person? Oof. Nope. Sorry. Hey, sorry, it'll be just a little longer, alright? Got it. Uh, I guess so. Looks like there's this rope snapped. Is there more rope inside? be something on the shelf, right? Old tools lie on the shelf. Oh! Hey, a lantern! I can use this to light up the inside of the well! Huh. I don't have anything to light it with. Huh? These are for camping. No good. But they're out of fuel, so they won't light up. Huh? The fuel cans are empty. Hmm. The cans are empty. Ah, here we go. Oh! Hey, a flashlight! I can use this to light up the inside of the well! Got a flashlight. Huh? Huh, it isn't turning on. Gee, I wonder if I need these batteries. Mm. Maybe these batteries will work. Got batteries. Combine these with the flashlight. Put batteries in the flashlight. All right. It actually works. Nice. Now I can use this to light up the well. All right. Is that all I need? Can you see now? Yeah, and I found the rope. Okay, great. Now toss it to me and I'll grab it. Here it comes. Huh. 
got snapped rope. I should be able to tie this off somewhere, then drop it back in. Yep, and I already know. Yes! Nice, I should be able to get him out of the well now. Can you reach the rope? Yeah, got it! Good. Now can you climb up? Uh... Yeah, I think so. Oh, that was rough. I was freaking out down there. Well, maybe next time don't climb down a well. That's dangerous. Yeah, but... But what? There was nowhere else to run. You wouldn't have to run if you hadn't stolen my bag. Yeah, but... There's no excuse. That's not all you did. Swiping food from the guest house. But I only stole your bag because some lady asked me to. As for the food, well, I was just so hungry. What else could I do? Not to mention you implicated a dog in your crimes. Hey, that dog followed me. Listen, do you understand that what you did was wrong? I do, really. It's just, I've got a lot going on in my life. I guess that's what happens when you run away from home. What? How do you know about that? Oh, I know more than that. Matthew Crusoe. Who told you my name? Dan said you were reported missing. So, why'd you run away? That's none of your business. What's the matter? Why do you look so down all of a sudden? <sighs> Well? <laughs> Matthew? Yeah? It's okay. You don't have to tell me why you ran away. Mm-hmm. Hey, you haven't told me your name yet. Oh, yeah. I guess not. I'm Ashley. Ashley Mizuki Robbins. I'm sorry I stole your bag, Ashley. So what do you mean some lady told you to steal my bag? Who's this woman that told you to steal my bag? No idea. Why would she have you do that? No clue. Well, did you give her my bag? No, I hid it in the boathouse. That's where she said to put it. What else could you do? How did you get into the storage room? The door was supposed to be locked. I used the keycard. It's my dad's keycard. Your dad's keycard? So, does he work in the guest house? No. Then why would he have that card? I don't know, okay? Implicating a poor puppy. So that wasn't your dog? I hope it's not a stray. It was near the campsite. I only played with it for a minute. But it started following me all over, and now it's wandered off. Hmm. What? Look, I don't care who told you to do it, but it's never okay to steal. But I had to. I had no choice. You're still making excuses? You can't do stuff like that. Running away is a bad call, too. Your family's gotta be worried. Trust me, they're not. My uncle even knows I'm here. And he's still not coming to get me, so... Your uncle? My dad's brother. I live with him. What about your mom and dad? 
they're not around. My mom got sick. She passed away. And my dad, he went missing five years ago. He went missing? Yeah, and that's why I'm here. There's something I need to do. Something you need to do? What do you mean, something you need to do? I'm looking for clues to where my dad went. That lady made me a deal. She said if I stole your bag, she'd tell me about him. You're looking for clues? What sort of clues? Can you keep a secret? Yeah. Okay. The truth is, my dad didn't go missing. He was abducted, and I'm searching for him. So he was abducted? Abducted? For real? For real. Ashley, my dad's rich. Really? Yeah, crazy rich. Okay. And? And five years ago, he was abducted from here. By who? Isn't it obvious? The gang of kidnappers! Uh-huh. And then? The kidnappers demanded a ton of money. But my uncle couldn't pay them, so they never let him go. He's been missing ever since. But I'm sure he's still alive. And you came here looking for clues to where he might be. Exactly. So what made him rich? So your dad's rich, right? Super rich. Then why didn't your uncle pay the ransom? Well, my dad's rich. But my uncle isn't. Plus, he doesn't have the key to my dad's vault. His vault. I'm telling the truth. My dad's so rich, and he was abducted. And I'm searching for him. B because he's rich and... and... And? Ashley. You believe me, don't you? I mean, with that... Well, I mean, these are both basically the same thing. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just say making up stories. You're just making up stories. What? Your rich father was abducted by a gang and held for ransom? It's just so far-fetched. You gotta be making it up. <sighs> that stuff happens in movies, not in real life. <sighs> Just stop making up stories and apologize. You gotta grow up one of these days. <sighs> if you just had the maturity to apologize... Uh, how old are you? Huh? I'm 16. Hmm. 16, huh? I yeah. Why? You're only a little older than me, so quit acting like you're so much more grown up. What? You're just like everyone else. Matthew! He ran away. Maybe it was too harsh. Hey, wait, where's my bag? Kid, where's the bag? Oh 
Matthew. Matthew's not here. Where'd he go? What do I do now? Uh. Guess I'll go to Dad's place. This lady's a little bit more level-headed. Yo, Ashley! Hey. I'm sorry about earlier. No worries. I'm already over it. Thanks for being cool about it. Did you find the music player? No, not yet. I hope you find it soon. Hello. You were at the camp earlier, weren't you? I forget your name. Janet. I'm... Ashley, right? I heard from Tommy. So you got into a fight with Elizabeth, huh? I got angry and said some stuff. Probably went too far, though. Don't worry. She's always that way. Oh. Wow. But getting into a fight the first time you meet her? That's brave. I thought the same thing. You're both friends with Elizabeth, aren't you? Yeah. Wow. You're thinking, how are they friends with someone like that? Almost word for word. Well, we know the real Elizabeth. She's really talented. Plus, she's got a great taste in music and killer style. That's why the three of us started a band together. And we entered our band into a contest. Yeah! So y'all are in a band, huh? What do you two play? I play guitar. Janet's on drums. What about Elizabeth? Keyboard and vocals. We're really just doing it for fun, though. Not true. You play guitar like a rock star. The girls that come to our shows all swoon over Tommy. <laughs> oh, come on, knock it off. So what's this contest, contest you guys are talking about? So what's this contest you're in? Is it the Big Deal Band Contest? That's it, yeah! That contest is the quickest way to get a recording contract. You wanna get signed? Of course! Oh, okay, cool. So these two are going to be in the contest too, but so is Elizabeth. I play guitar too. Oh yeah? Right on. No wonder you knew about the contest. You ought to play with us sometime, Ashley. I left my guitar at home. But sure, if I get a chance. Looking forward to it. Hey, sorry. We gotta get going. Practice time, you know? See you later, Ashley. See ya. Bye. band practice. I'm so jealous. I'd love to be able to play my guitar right now. of them at the cottage area. A. So that's the 
boathouse. Hmm? That's Matthew. What's he doing hanging around here? What are you doing here? Ashley! I hid your bag right here, but now it's missing. What? I promised that lady I'd give her the bag tonight. She was gonna tell me about my dad. She tricked me. She was lying to me from the start. I'm sorry for losing your bag. No, for stealing it, then losing it. Oh, an apology. How you've grown since last we spoke. Well, you did rescue me and all, so I wanted to return your bag. I was a little harsh on you earlier. I'm sorry. I should have listened to what you had to say. You're saying you believe me? There could be some truth to it. I'm not like everyone else. But maybe I'm not as mature as I'd like to think either. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. I'm... Sorry, but I did lie. My dad did go missing five years ago. That part's true. There are people who choose to disappear, I know. But not my dad. Something happened to him. I waited by the door for him every day, even when it started to make my mom mad. And then one day, she got so mad she started yelling, and then she burst into tears. That's when I finally decided to give it up. But then she got sick. She was admitted to the hospital, and... It's okay. After she died, all I wanted was to see my dad again. So, I decided to come look for him. I get it, Matthew. I really do. I'm going to find him, no matter what. I know how you feel, but... It's still not okay to run away from home. Your uncle must be worried. You should call him. I know. I just need a little more time. I'm so close to finding something that will lead to my dad. I mean, I already found that guy in the sunglasses. What about that guy with the sunglasses? Is that who you saw while you were hiding? He's behind it all. I just know it. He's been snooping all around like Juliet. He's gotta be working with the lady who had me steal your bag. Oh, uh, what? He must be. He's so suspicious. This boathouse is the only place I didn't search last year. That guy's going around covering his tracks. Are you for real right now? My dad built this boathouse. So I'm gonna take a look around inside. By yourself? No, no, no. That guy might be in there. Uh... What? If you're so worried about me, you could always tag along. You're not leaving me much choice, are you? It's not like Dad needs his hat right this minute. Okay, fine. I'll search the boathouse with you, but then I'm done. Great! Thanks, Ashley. Let's go have a look. Yeah! Locked. Figures. What do we do? Hmm. Maybe my key card. No good. There must be some way in.
the Rass. The Rass is reacting to something. Maybe. This is just like what happened at the back of the guest house. Huh. Oh, you gotta hold it. All right, it opened. Now, let's search the boathouse. Wow, that's a handy little device. What is it? Apparently my mom made it. She was a scientist. Whoa! Really? Yeah. But... On the night of my third birthday... Someone shot her while trying to steal her research. She died. Seriously? Real twist ending, huh? I'm sorry. Time to go in. All right. Let's go see what we can learn about your dad. All right. Certificate. Mm -hmm. This certificate is a business permit for the boathouse. jackets. Huh. Figure the boathouse would have these available. But only six? That doesn't seem like enough, does it? Cork board. Huh. Is this some sort of fish burger? Is this place still around? I kind of want to check it out. Warnings. Mm. This is how many people are allowed on a boat. Cleaning service, 9 a.m. Trash pickup, Fridays. Looks like a note. Article about sea serpent in Lake Juliet. Shadow looms large on the lake. Oh, sea serpents? Seriously? No way I'm believing that. Pamphlets. All of the pamphlets on the, du the shelves are dusty. There's an article with an image of the winner of 1999's 26th lottery round. Ashley. Ashley? This is my dad. Amazing. So your dad really did win the lottery, didn't he? Mr. Crusoe exclaims, The winning numbers were just the numbers that spell my name on a phone. That's then my age. Incredible that these numbers worked. I guess they're all my lucky numbers now. I didn't know you used to be able to fish in the lake. Message cards. Ah. Some visitors left notes. Landed some real lunkers, and I'll be back next year. Huh, fun. There's a large mounted fish on the wall. There are files on guests in different boats. This is a lot of files and a ton of different kinds of documents. Can of juice. Mm. Someone left a can of juice out. How long has it been here? Maybe since the boathouse was closed? Ill. Miscellaneous mm. things? I guess this is all supplies for the boathouse. 
Yeah, there are oil tanks, cans of paint. That must be it. Hmm? Huh, it's set up so you just open the shutter door and you're right on the lake. Is this for emergencies or something? Rescuing people who fall into the lake? Is this being repaired? So what's out this way? where it lets out. The air's so fresh. And what of you? Wow, no kidding. Case? I wonder where it came oh. from. Wait, that looks just like the briefcase my dad used to use. Oh, hey. We should drag it in and see what's inside. Um. We need some kind of tool, right? Let's check the boathouse. Yeah. Good idea. Maybe we could use that. Or a fishing rod. Case with an ore? Probably not, huh? There are assorted supplies scattered around the shelves. A little RC boat. Oh, it's a remote control boat. Maybe we can use this. Got RC boat. Got controller. Try using the remote controlled boat to get the briefcase. Alright, 
Use the RC boat, drag the briefcase floating in the lake all the way to the pier. You can operate the RC boat with left stick. Catch the handle of the briefcase with the anchor on the back of the RC boat, then drag it back to the pier while avoiding the obstacles. If you get stuck on an obstacle, press X to restart from the beginning. not control very well. This is my dad's briefcase. Hurry and open it. Hold on. It could be bad if someone finds us out here. Let's open it in the boathouse. Good call. is locked. Looks like a combination lock. Don't suppose you know the code? Sure don't. Then what can we do? It is probably whatever his lucky numbers were, which uh, I do not immediately remember. Let's see. Article with the picture of the winner of 1999's 26th Lottery. Mr. Crusoe exclaims, The winning numbers were just the numbers that spell my name on a phone, then my age. Incredible that these numbers worked. I guess they're all my lucky numbers now. So, what is your dad's name? Is it in the DAS? His dad really has been missing for five years, but he wasn't actually kidnapped. Matthew has no idea what happened to him or where he is now, but he's so desperate to find that he ran away from home. Hope he finds his dad soon. So what's your dad's name? Poster notifying people, notifying people about a fishing ban. Can I not ask him his dad's name? Oh, has his business permit is on the wall. Notebook. Hmm? Looks like a notebook for managing reservations. Page it's open to has names of guests who made reservations each month. I need you to tell me what your dad's name is. There's a thick file. There are thick file folders filled with old documents concerning the business. it won't open. I can mess with this all I want, but without the combination, there's not much point. Hey. There has to be some way, right? Yes. <laughs> hmm? Looks like the briefcase is still wet. Maybe 
this? Large mounted fish on the wall. Nope. Oh, maybe it's the lottery ticket on this wall. There's a piece of paper pinned to the, the bulletin board. It's a list of winning lottery numbers from 1999 from the 21st around to the 30th. Huh. This lottery ticket looks old. It's uh, 2787 6330. 27... 2787 6330. Briefcase is locked with a combination. Um... Nate digit code, huh? No way we'll ever get this open, Matthew. We don't have any way to figure out eight random numbers. I know it! Hmm, eight numbers. Huh. Oh, I know. Huh. My dad used to talk about some numbers he always remembered. He told me when he came to the boathouse before. Hmm. He called them his lucky numbers, and there were eight of them! That must be it. Matthew! Maybe we can find out more about them if we look around. Yes, I found <laughs> it. I hope we found something. 2787. Man, I remember. I, f I kind of forget. Was it 27... 63 Looks like a floppy disk. What's a floppy disk? It's like a USB drive for old computers. They don't really use them anymore. There might be something useful, but I don't know if we'll be able to read it. What's your dad's name? Michael Crusoe. There's a name on the disk. The handwriting's a little messy. But it looks like it could be his. The logo here could be some sort of clue, too. <gasps> That's the logo for my dad's company. There's a box. That's a test tube. Maybe he was doing some experiments? It says, Water Quality Test Kit. Was your dad's job to test water quality? I don't know. Let's see. There's this stuffed animal. Is this a bunny? It's kind of cute. That's Kelly's. Who's Kelly? My little sister. You have a little sister? Yeah. Let's take this to my dad's place. What for? He's a scientist at JC Valley. Wow, your dad's a scientist too. Yeah, and he'll have a computer we can use. We can look up some of the stuff we found. That sounds great! I've always wanted to see a science lab! Let's go! Uh, you should probably keep your expectations low. Is someone in there? That's Dan's voice! Uh, what do we do? He'll catch me! Take the briefcase and hide! Okay! Ashley? Oh, hi, Dan. Why are you hanging out here of all places? Well... The door's supposed to be locked. It was open when I got here. Weird. I wonder who could have opened it. No idea, but it was wide open. Okay, I get it, but what are you doing in here? 
No, I was just looking for my bag. Looking for my bag. Here? Sure. Here, there, everywhere. It's got my whole life in it. Well, okay. I haven't found your bag yet either, but I will. Thank you. But listen, Ashley, no one is allowed in the boathouse. It's old and falling apart. It can be dangerous, so stay out, okay? Okay, yeah. Hmm? What was that sound? I didn't hear anything. Hey, did you ever find that runaway? No, I was actually out this way looking for him. Oh, yeah? Doesn't look like he's here, though. What will you do when you find him? Hand him over to the police. It's their job at that point. Oh. Okay. We found him in an old house last year. Things got kind of rough. His family came to get him and caused quite the ruckus. They were all shouting at each other. Even the police didn't know how to deal with that one. Maybe he has his reasons for wanting to run away. I wouldn't doubt it. That kid's been through a lot. Like what? Well, let's see. His dad was the president of a resort development company. Resort development? Crusoe Resort. Went under about five years ago. They bought up the land around here. Built the campsite, the cottages, and turned it into a tourist spot. But then, things went south. They went bankrupt after a while. The company's building is still near JC Valley, though. Oh, interesting. This boathouse used to belong to Crusoe Resort, too. It's property of the lab now, though. It's strange how something like a rumor was all it took to shut it down. Come to think of it, when Crusoe started developing here, they tried to buy that old clock tower, too. But I guess something on the business end didn't work out. Soon after, that clock's bell told its last. The old house? Where's the old house? It's just past the boathouse. Take a right. It's vacant now, but a famous photographer used to live there. A famous photographer? Yep. Moved here from New York nine years ago. Moved out, what, maybe five years back? The house has been vacant ever since. So what's this rumor? So what's this rumor you mentioned? What do people say about this old boathouse? That it's haunted. Haunted? Really? It's just the story, but not all that surprising. Why? Did something happen? Oh, it's just... What was that? I should check it out. Matthew, what are you doing? last why did the clock stop the family that owns it kept it in working order for generations but five years ago the last surviving member stopped it sealed it up tight so no one could get in they were getting old as it was and then after the incident what happened uh, it's nothing just an old story I want to know what happened, but now isn't the best time. That's my phone. Oh, uh, uh, I need to get back. See, Ashley, don't come in here again, okay? Um... 
Matthew. Where'd you go? Thank you. 